What's up, guys? Welcome to a special episode. We're going to be breaking down a very huge blockbuster deal today. Brandon Heigl of the Chicago Blackhawks at the age of 23 years old, who has uh, two more seasons after this season left on his contract, has been traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning for, wait for it, Taylor Radish, Boris Kachkuk. And 2023 first round pick, a 2024 first round pick, and their top 10 protected, w- including with Hagel. He was traded for, uh, he was traded with a 2022 fourth round pick and a 2024 uh, fourth round pick. So, holy crap, guys, this is huge. You know, Hagel um, was drafted originally by the Buffalo Sabres uh, at 150. 150- ninth overall in 2016 uh in 2018 the buffalo sabers weren't able to resign him so he actually attended the montreal canadians training camp uh never got signed he did get signed by the chicago blackhawks uh, a three-year deal of 925 uh, k and then in 2021 he signed an extension a three-year extension where uh, he was getting paid $4.5 million. He's 23 years old. He has two years left on his contract, like I said. And this is huge, huge, huge. Um, a couple of weeks ago, the general manager of the Chicago Blackhawks, Cal Davidson, said that he was open to rebuilding. But people are saying, you know, Hagel is relatively young. He's 23 years old. Isn't he supposed to be part of the rebuild? Well, when you get a return like this, you definitely take it. So this is what uh, General Manager Cal Davidson of the Chicago Blackhawks had to say after the deal was announced. I said a few weeks ago that we're rebuilding. This is clearly the start of that. Getting two first-round picks as well as two young NHL players helps us kickstart that process in a major way. We know that Brandon Hagel was a fan favorite. Our fans loved him for all the reasons. We loved him, and we know he will be successful in the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hell yeah, he will be successful in the Tampa Bay Lightning. You're surrounding yourself with Nikita Kucherov. You're surrounding yourself with Braden Point, Victor Hedman, Mikhail Sergachev, Steven Stamkos, Andre Vazileski, Ryan McDonough. This is a two-time Stanley Cup champion team. But essentially, Tampa Bay gave up way too much. And this is a deal that the Chicago Blackhawks could not pass over. This is something they had to take. Um, as of right now, um, Hagel, as I was saying before, his deal was four point five million. So that sees him being paid one point five million per season. Um, he's going to be an RFA at the end of this deal in two years. Um, Kachkuk, um, if I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his name properly, this is the first year of his three year deal where he's getting paid seven hundred fifty eight k. And then he's going to be an RFA, so very affordable in terms of uh, catch kook. And then Radish, f- again, first year of his contract, he's signed to a three-year contract. He's he's getting paid uh, the same amount, 758K, and he will be an RFA as well. So Chicago has leverage in terms of uh, their rights to sign both of these uh, young players once their uh, their deals are, are up. Um, Taylor Rad- Radish is going to be uh, reunited with his Erie Otter's uh, partner in Alex the Brinkat, but also with Dylan Strom. Uh, so maybe they're going to be paired up all on the same line if Dylan Strom stays, because we all know that Dylan Strom may be traded. Um, you know, he wanted a, a change of scenery for some time now. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Steven Stamkos said in February that it's easy for us to dismiss draft picks because we're probably not going to be around when they come through. We want to win right now. And for GM Julien Julien Brisbois to be able to put all the chips in and get rewarded has been pretty amazing. Well, yeah, this is a two-time Stanley Cup champion under the general manager, Julien Brisbois. Um, Steven Stamkos, you know, he's getting up there in age. Nikita Kucherov, too. And that's a valid point. You know, you can't keep all these guys forever. So essentially bringing a 23-year-old Brendan Hagelin, you know, He's still going to be there in the long run. I definitely see him getting an extension once his deal is up in, in two years. Um, concerning Taylor Radish, uh, he's a decent defensive depth player in a limited role. Um, 
but he's currently struggling to put the puck in the net. Well, when you have a top six that's already solidified in Tampa Bay, you're going to need more playing time. Uh, so going to the Chicago Blackhawks, essentially, he's going to get that playing time. This is a rebuilding Chicago Blackhawks team. So we're definitely going to see him move up in the lineup um, as they ship out some players. Uh, it was also stated that Taylor Radish and Boris uh, Kachkuk would be dealt together. They've been attached at the hip from their days at just um, as 10 years old uh, lacrosse um, teammates right up until the draft, then into their junior years, the AHL, and then NHL line mates. So NHL Chicago fans are going to get to know them, but also love them. So, yeah, this is, you know, really crazy in terms of the, um, the haul that Chicago and Davidson has been able to get for Brandon Heigl. Um, let's see what else I get state about here. Um, give me a second. Taylor Radish. Mm, okay, so currently 24 years old. He's six foot three. He's a right winger. Um, he was drafted in 2016. He, he's a former for a second round pick, drafted 58 overall. Um, this is his first NHL season with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So he finally made the leap to the, to the NHL at 24 years old. And then in terms of the other prospect that came uh, in this deal, oh my God, I don't know if it's loading. Okay, we got it right here. We have Boris uh, Kachkuk. So he is a former second round pick in the same year, 2016. Uh, he was drafted 44th overall. So a couple of picks higher than... Um, Radish, he is six foot two and he's a left winger and he's 23 years old. So, in Catch Cook's uh, case, he's a well rounded uh, forward with decent size and, a, and good offensive instincts. He does everything well, but not one thing great. He has great speed and generates a good amount of offense. He is not overly physical, but will not shy away from, the, from any physical play or uh, in order to obtain the puck. So, I mean, look, guys, we could go all day and discuss what happened in terms of this deal. This is an absolute steal for the Chicago Blackhawks. They got two former second round picks, okay, who are currently both playing in their first NHL season, who are never going to crack the top six of the Tampa Bay Lightning because that's already established. And we all know that. Going to a Chicago Blackhawks team who's resetting everything they're they want to get things right this time after all the controversy that's been going on over the last couple of months the gm change the whole uh kyle beach situation which was very unfortunate and now it seems like with davidson at the helm of this rebuild big change is coming for chicago so i mean honestly in terms of tampa bay yeah, they get a 23-year-old player in return. Hagel's been nothing but fantastic this season. He's exceeded expectations. As you guys can see right now, you look at uh, his, uh, his skating ability, his hockey IQ, his physicality, his offense, his defense. This is a very well-rounded player that has finally found his game at 23 years old. You know, despite, you know, not making it with a bunch of Canadians and signing a contract with them when he got... um offered to join them during training camp, not uh, being able to be signed by Buffalo. Chicago got this guy for free, essentially, as a UFA, signed into a contract, and look at the haul they got in return. So, honestly, that's fantastic. Uh, in terms of Radish, just going back to what he's able to bring to the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, okay, so... Okay, so he's a physical presence, as we all know. He's six foot three. Um, he has made a strong case for himself to be an NHL player. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay, he does not belong in the AHL. Okay, so basically, a lot of positive things for in terms of Radish. This is a guy that's going to be playing NHL nim a, a minute with Catch Cook. Um, and you know, they're going to find themselves working themselves up into the lineup. Um, definitely 
this could definitely set the bar up for a guy like Arturi Lekinen, who's been rumored to be on the trading block. And Kent Hughes has stated that, you know, if they're not going to get more than a first round pick, that they're more than happy to keep him because he fits the mold of the new culture they're trying to establish in Montreal. And he fits very well under Martin St. Louis. But when you see a guy like Brandon Hagel get traded for two first round picks and a 23 first uh first round pick which is supposed to be a crazy draft next year a 2024 first round pick and two prospects that are two former second round picks who are cap- fully capable of playing in the NHL that begs us to question what the heck can Lekin and fetch any return in terms of a deal at this year's deadline because Hegel has set the bar for young players that have a very good two-way uh, style of of, uh, of of playing the game. And, you know, where is he going to fit in the Tampa Bay Lightning lineup? You know, I'm going to just, I'm just going to check the lineup as of right now. It's just out of curiosity to see what's going on in terms of uh, injuries. And give me a second, Lightning... Okay, so as we already know, that we got the first line of Hago, uh, Killorn, Stamkos, Kudrov, second line Palat, Point, Sorelli. So he's projected, Brandon Hagel's projected to play on the third line with Ross Carlton and Corey Perry. So he's definitely going to start right there. But obviously, his offensive production has been amazing this year. So he could definitely move up in the lineup. Maybe he could even play in the second line or the first line. He's definitely going to get some power play line, uh, power play minutes. Uh, he's expected to be playing on the second power play unit with Colton, Perry, Palat, and Sergachev, which is by means not bad at all. But he could find himself moving into the first power play unit, probably taking Killorn's spot on the left side and playing with Point, Kucherov, Stamkos, and Hedman. And, you know, obviously his production offensively has been fantastic already. Imagine what he's going to be capable of doing with the, with the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is one of the top five teams in top in terms of offensive production and if he's been able to score as many goals as he's he's been able to score this season with a bottom tier team in the chicago blackhawks i can't even imagine what he's capable of doing with the tampa bay lightning um he has 21 goals and 16 assists, so 37 points in 55 games he averages 17 minutes of ice time so definitely Definitely, definitely, this is a guy that can move up and down the lineup. He's only 23 years old, and, I mean, this is great. And He's affordable, too, you know, $1.5 million, you know, for Tampa Bay Lightning, who's kind of tight with their cap situation. Um, I honestly see that it's a fit for Tampa uh, for now and even for the long term. But, you know, they did get two fourth-round picks included, but this is an absolute haul for the Chicago Blackhawks. So, guys... You already know my stance as of right now. And I think in the future, the Chicago Blackhawks hands down win this deal. Unless the Tampa Bay Lightning somehow a a three-peat this year. And they win a third Stanley Cup in a row. But definitely, definitely, definitely for a rebuilding team, this is very impressive. Uh, On the Chicago side, I want to hear what the Chicago fans have to say about this deal. Are you guys happy about this deal? You guys think this is fantastic. Um, we have Dalton Wadick, who says this is a huge overpay, and I completely agree on that. I think this is a complete huge um, overpay as well. And uh, But def- definitely, you know, at 23 years of, of age, him going to Tampa Bay, he's going to be there long term, even when his contract expires. Um, you know, Killorn and Palat won't be there when his contract is up. So definitely he's going to be part of the new core of the Tampa Bay Lightning in years to come. But uh, guys, Tampa Bay fans, I want to hear what you have to see as well. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Bisbois gave up way too much or this is the right deal to win now? And according to Steven Stamkos' uh, comments that I read before, he's fully supportive of what Bisbois has been doing in order for them to reach to uh, the Stanley Cup Finals twice and win both times. And for him to do a move like this, I think he has all the player support. And uh, that concludes our episode today. There's probably going to be more deals to come. 
Uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of coverage concerning the trade deadline. We are going live on Monday. We're going to be covering every single deal as it happens. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode, guys. So take care and enjoy yourselves.